lanes I've been driving this train Years in this lane, there's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight, never stop, never changed All the squad here to play and I've got something to say, yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never captain space I won't stop till I hear him say Action Action Welcome to the Russian and the Freak Show episode number 21. Right, there are two chairs. There are two chairs and you're sitting in neither one of them and you're taking up the whole area. Can you just show me what happened? Tell me what happened with my phone. What is that? You have some weird settings. I don't know. Let's do it. Episode right. number 21. What do we got? Can you, can well, you go in your chair? Yeah. Or you want me to go in the closet again while you sit center stage and I just go in the closet and yell from a, a mega... Yeah, that's not my foot or anything that you just put the chair on top of. That's good. Oh, well, I know they're good stuff. One. Can you... There is this was stuff all set up. On in this is all set up me. until your butt started knocking chairs <laughs> left and right. Can you go over into your chair? Do you, do you need one stool for each butt cheek? Like left <laughs> butt cheek here, right butt cheek yeah, here? Yeah, but I just wanted to tell you that I am Holy not on my phone. You did it. You set up your phone, not me. No, you pressed it. I didn't, all I did is hit record. So I guess it's I'm going to be on the, the Russian channel today. The Russian. Yes. This is the Russian and the Freak Show. No. And we're, 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 it's it's debatable. Are we allowed to still call it the Russian and the Freak Show? And you know what? I don't give a fuck. Because... So if someone is Russian, they should no longer consider themselves Russian because of things that are going on in the world. It's fucking stupid. Or any other type of nationality. Say there's a, a terrorist attack by any country in this country. Say on like September 11th or something. Should someone be ashamed of being that type from that country? Someone that's a good fucking person? Yes, so not everybody cares? is bad, well, right? But I know yes. plenty of awesome Russian freaking people out there. Plenty of awesome. Exactly. We got to always remember. But... Let's not forget, I'm Polish. But because we had... What? Get the fuck out of here. Oh, the same story, you guys. He still me. doesn't know his wife. You gotta be shitting me. You learn something new every freaking day. Don't we have a flag every, on, on the logo? Right? Look, 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 right here. Look, this is the flag. Right there. Anyway, episode number 21. The Russian and the Freak Show. This is a show on how to maintain your equilibrium... And function in a dysfunctional world as a freak family in business and life. So you can transform your chaotic complexity into your own personal normalcy. This is a show on how to win in, in business, in family, in life, and relationships. That's what this is all about. Real world situations, real, real people, and real results and real relationships and shit you need to hear shit maybe you don't always want to hear but shit that you need to hear because we're going to tell it like it is like we literally had people asking are you still going to call the show the russian and the freak yeah I had like how fucking thing. stupid like holy shit pretty soon you won't be able to call yourself an american it'll be offensive to call yourself an american sometimes it is offensive some people are offended by the american flag whatever i'm gonna weigh the motherfucker high anyway we are bringing that fucking fire every second of every second if you couldn't tell and what are we talking about today? That we are dressed the same way. Look at me. Look at you. We we we, we even... wearing the same clothes. Uh, well, not identical. Imagine him wearing this stuff. <laughs> that would be no. pretty funny. <laughs> no. And your little skirt and little hooker heels. It ain't happening. That's right. We're wearing the same clothes. And we want to kind of talk about the decaf today which is discipline energy confidence action and freak we are, our we're not talking about decaf well today. we will talk about this just a little bit into the code, but we're not talking about just decaf we talk about decaf several times already. we're talking about overall the freak code the free code which is up here we talk about it all the time we talk about it with the kids on the break in the cycle show but the free code and what actually is the free code because that's what this clothing line is it's the free code and it's not just clothing it's not just a a, a funky saying it's a code it's an operating system it's a way of fucking thinking it's a way of life it's a lifestyle living by the free code it's about planting your freak flag in the fucking ground 
waving it up high. And if you call yourself a Russian or you call yourself an American or you call yourself a fucking alien or a goat or whatever the hell it is, waving it freaking high in the sky and being proud of who the hell you are and attracting those like-minded freaks and repelling the douchebags that you want nothing to do with that are going to stay away because they're not your kind of people. I just broke the team. Yes. So we want to talk about the freak code, the new clothing line that we have just l- recently launched and some of you already been liking the post and liking the Instagram. So thank you guys for, for joining and thank you for liking this stuff. It's The feedback is so important for us. Because this is not just regular clothing line. As Steve mentioned, it's all about following and living the freak code. And what is the freak code like? Being and becoming your own freak self. That's what the, what the line, the clothing line is all about. So all the, all the clothes have within the design the freak code logo in a very, very different and funky way. But what is really being your own freak self? How would you even say, okay, I am, I am being me. I'm not someone else. I'm just following uh, and following my intuition and being my own freak self. And if you're a Russian, you're a fucking Russian. And if you're an American, you're American. If you're a goat, you're a fucking goat. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. I just thought about this as we're talking. Yes, we want to wave the banner, be proud of who you are, and not give a fuck what anyone thinks, or at least not give a fuck what. The people that you give a shit what they think, think other people who cares what they think. So you do have to decide who to give a fuck about what they think about you because you do want certain people to think a certain way of you. So you can't just say, don't give a fuck what anyone thinks about you. You can't say it. You can't be just obnoxious. That's not what we mean when we say don't give a fuck. That's not how it is. What's your language? Maybe, it's inaf- well. Inappropriate. <laughs> but listen, well, here's the next part are. to that. So don't be proud of who you are and have courage to be who you are. Very courageous. Listen. If you're a man and you associate as a goat, walk around saying ba ba ba, that's fine. Knock yourself out, wave your fucking goat flag all you want. But don't go take over the fucking goat pen if you're catching my drift. Like don't go be taking over the goats when you're actually not a freaking goat. Or swim against other goats. Yeah. I <laughs> got confused. What? <laughs> People who know know. Okay. <laughs> okay, fine. Be your freak self, but don't go and cheat when you're swimming in a in a swimming pool. Yeah. All right. So being your own freak self. So I want to ask you guys, what is? I have no problem with that, dude. They said something about don't don't be pissed at me just you because be- don't be pissed at me just because I had the balls to go swim against the women. Literally, he had the balls to go swim against the women. <laughs> I have nothing wrong with it. Listen, knock yourself out. Go wear some fucking thongs and all this other stuff. Enjoy. Mm-hmm. I do some weird shit my damn self. But if you can't say, you, I, I can't say I associate with being a seven-year-old girl and go on Midge's soccer team and stomp a mud hole in all their fucking asses. Imagine that. I, I, you can't tell me that. I'm, I don't see myself as a seven-year-old girl. Maybe I do. I probably act like a seven-year-old girl sometimes. You should see when I see a spider or a little mouse, what happens. Yeah, sure. But I think that it's pretty scary that the world is going into that direction. But we want to encourage you to become your own freak self. That's why, do you remember like when we were sitting downstairs on a, a great couch and move into this house and we were talking, we, we kind of were having an idea of creating the clothing line and we were sitting, when things. you remember, excuse me? What are you doing? What, you can't concentrate? Huh? All right. What are you talking about? I'm talking about creating the freak code when we were just coming out with all these different ideas when we were creating it, when we were coming out with, okay, how the line's going to go, what is the purpose and the mission? And more we were working on it, more the mission was coming together. So the mission of the freak code clothing line is to inspire you, yes, to be your own freak self, but also bring you the no excuses lifestyle that the freak family is doing and what is the no excuses for us is the non-negotiable which is the workouts the nutrition the lifestyle and that's why when you guys purchase the clothing line you always will get for now the link to our youtube channel when you can follow the workouts with us so we want to kind of implement that freak code idea that freak code mission to have these non-negotiables in your life And the free code is, again, about freedom. Freak freedom is what we talk about. Freedom just to say, fuck the world, fuck them all, 
Fuck them all. Say it all the time. Fuck them all. Like, you should say that. Except for a select few people that you're not saying that for. Freak actually has an acronym we have for Freak. F-R-E-A-K. And the F actually stands for freedom. The freedom to say you're going to live life on your own terms. You're going to march to the beat of your own drum. You're going to live, do things what makes you happy, not conforming to the rest of the freaking world. You want to go put a, 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 a freaking women's clothes on? Go right ahead. Knock yourself out. I, I, we fought for this country for you to be able to go put a fucking thong on. All right? Go knock yourself out. Just don't swim with it on. All right? <laughs> that's, that's that. The, the R in freak is for role model. To have a role model mindset. To be the type of man that one day your son will want to become or the type of man your daughter will want to marry or vice versa if you're a woman or whatever who knows nowadays whatever you are well it has to go for the men and women maybe a a, a, a woman and her daughter right so or so. maybe be a man and be the type of woman that maybe your son one day wants to become and if you're a man you're, you want to become the woman that one day your daughter doesn't want to become your head will spin in just a second my head probably is already so that's spinning. the r is role model the e in the freak in the term freak, the acronym, well, listen, we need an acronym for everything. From the military, we are knuckleheads. That's why they call us jarheads. You need, I need a fucking acronym for my own name so I don't forget it. So the E is for enthusiasm. Having, bringing that freak fire. Bring in the fucking fire every second of every second of everything you do. Have an enthusiasm in the good, in the bad, in life, in fucking death. Finding some humor in everything. Finding the light side of everything. That's what enthusiasm is. Bringing the fucking energy and the freak energy. It's actually a course that's coming out later in next month about freak fire, how to overcome obstacles and how to overcome overwhelm and distraction. It's all about maintaining freak fire, bringing the fucking fire every second of every second. The A in the freak is attitude. is and It's an attitude of confidence about how you carry yourself, an attitude of freaking courage, an attitude where you're just going to attack shit. You're going to charge towards a gunfire while everyone else is running away from the gunfire. That's the attitude we're talking about. An attitude of having gratitude. An attitude of positivity. Of always finding the upside to everything. Finding the victory in everything. How to weaponize everything. That's the attitude we're talking about. And then the K is for kill, motherfucker. Kill. Kill your fear. Kill your doubt. Kill the procrastination. Kill the obstacle in front of you. Kill the mountain that's in front of you. Kill the everyday tasks. Kill the... Uh, whatever you have to deal with that day in your schedule and if need be kill a motherfucker even in yourself guys because like the self-belief right you gotta believe in yourself so that like kill those doubts because and and when when they when when all this abbreviation of the freak uh, is explains to you you are like connecting with everything you know like okay this is what the clothing line is standing for not only that it kind of connects to all our courses that we have also online. Like, think about it. It's the workouts itself that you can get on application or on a YouTube channel. And also the courses that we teach you the freedom. The freedom, what is the freedom? You have to have habits. Habits give you freedom. So many people say, ask me, how can you live such a... Uh, organized or habitual life? But Who humans are... You're organized? Y yeah. So, uh, human like people not well i am other organized of course i have to work for on some other parts but i'm talking about like some people that are totally disorganized and totally have no freedom because they don't follow any kind of habits their day is sporadic and that's why we put these uh these courses in place for you so you can become so you can learn the better habits and disregard or remove the bad habits that you have and that's what you can find in our courses right that was a mouthful hold on but you lost me a hello holy crap what are we talking about again what's the topic free code holy shit that was long-winded did you even take a breath there's got to be a certain number of words that you have like a human voice box has how have you not run out of that number yet but like, you are the same isn't he no, but I'll just go in little spurts, like like on a show or something. But then I won't say a word for like three days straight. What? Yours, Never yours, happened. yours will just go on and on and on yeah, and on. Sure and on. It's like you you can't even watch a, a fucking episode of, of Netflix because it's just you just you have to put the subtitles on so we can read it because it's just nonstop babbling going on. <laughs> anyway, the free code again. There's a, a poster up here. You can only see it if you're on the Instagrams because they have the thing up and down. You probably can't. You can see the bottom part of it on some of those other ones, but. It, it's based off of 
all of not just our core values. The free code is basically a family type of core value. It's a family code, but it's also a, a lifestyle operating code, like an operations manual for freaking life about how to how to operate to dominate in your freaking life, how to live according to this free code. And that's what the clothing line represents. Like this is just the basic shirt of it, but then there's an entire series of men's and women's that is literally based off of the free code, off of the different words of discipline, of energy, of attack, of action, of there's it, part of the code is mind and body and mission and listen. Those aren't necessarily on the clothes, but it's still representing that. There's also create and win and confidence. There's a line on with confidence on there of the clothing. Protect. There's a line on the protect, a part of the code about protect and attack go together. Each one of them has two different colors, the front and the back with different words, different pieces of the free code on it, written on it. And there's shirts and tank tops and shorts, hats, freaking jackets, all that match Everything. according to the free code. Code. According to the free code, and Steve mentioned, okay, for him and for her, like we wearing the same clothes, but it's the or whole for her and family. For him. Whatever your adverbs are, whatever I'm your adverbs are, you can. I have like this is for him, but a <laughs> her could technically wear it for the I, him. I can and that's wear a this. Her that a him can wear the her if your adverbs associate with the him or her. Yes, but it's the matching clothing line for entire family. So also for the kids and. Uh, as as the colors represent certain things, like think about it, we have discipline and resilience, and we created these two colors that go together. So imagine just putting, okay, this morning I'm going to the gym, I'm put, I am disciplined, I am resilient, I'm putting this clothes on, and I'm sure you're gonna already feel better. It's about setting triggers, setting triggers in your freaking brain, in your mindset. Like the second you wake up in the morning. You should have your own mantras, your own triggers. And I say these things in my head and then I write them down in the morning. I write them down again at night and I can show you my journal. It's no bullshit. Every single morning, you'll see these things actually written down on pen to paper and every single night. And it's things like, I am fucking awesome. Life is fucking awesome. Today is fucking awesome. Today I will create. I will connect. I will close. I will make no excuses. I will accept no excuses. I will bring the fucking fire every second of every second. I am fucking awesome. Kill. That's what I'm telling myself every single fucking day. And then I'll, I'll even take it a step further sometimes and tell myself to slow down, to strategize, to weaponize, to then fucking explode, slow down, to speed up. Like these are all triggers. These are all parts of the free code that I set in my head from the second I wake up and multiple times throughout the day. And it's even on the back of one of these fucking shirts. You are fucking awesome. In case right I forget. There. In case I forget. And the no excuses is even on the forearm. Set triggers. These are all just relics or triggers that are going to... They're going to set the tone for your day and get you back on track when you start slipping up. It's going to get you back to center, get you back on track so you can cut the peaks and valleys and just keep fucking attacking straight forward on the free code. Yes, because so many of you get up in yes. the morning and you already start feeling, I already heard this just from someone recently saying to me that wakes up so early in the morning but stays for half an hour, 40 minutes in bed thinking about the overwhelming day. Guys, that's, uh, I understand that can be an overwhelming day, but that's a 40 minutes of wasted time in your life. How about jumping out of that bed and saying whatever mantra you want to say to yourself and coming with that speed and that intensity and with that curiosity of life, just having that mission and having the purpose is so important. Because, of course, if you don't have anything and to, to give or to work on and to have like a meaning of life, it might be hard for you. But all of you can find this. And that's what we're saying to you. Like, look, 10 years ago, nobody never knew that we're going to create a clothing line. Today, it all falls into place. Why? Because we are very passionate about what we do. We've been passionate for many years uh, having two uh, successful uh, boot camp and boxing centers. And we've been putting our life and our heart into everything that we're doing. And when you do this, life creates these opportunities and these paths for you to, uh, I think, uh, live a fuller life. And that's what you need to do. And I guarantee you, when you get up in the morning and you're going to say, okay, I'm going to start this morning maybe with a workout. I guarantee you that you're going to feel better. But a lot of you, when, when you guys go to, the, the, to work and your energy is drained, energy is drained, then you're going to find all these excuses not to work out. 
So I always say also to my clients, if this fits your day, do the workout in the morning. Of course, do the workout in the morning. Don't drag it later at nighttime. But tomorrow I, I, I challenge you when you get up in the morning, don't just stay in bed and lay for too long and waste your time. Just get up with some mission. What is that that you can accomplish that day? Because there is something always for you to accomplish. Of course, it's, uh, we're talking about you as, as you individual, as, as other people out there, how you can uh, help the community, how you can help with the relationships. What? And uh, uh, connection. Again, what the fuck are we talking about? <laughs> well, it's you so will just much. go on and of on. Course. It's supposed to be like a couple of simple words, like holy fuck. All right, zip. Holy. He has crap. the voice now. Here, I'll make it nice and quick and simple. Get the fuck out of bed. Quit being a little bitch. Quit bullshitting. Stand up. Stand out. Go all in. Go all out. Quit fucking bullshitting. Quit half-assing your fucking life. How about that? There. Bam. All right. All right. Bam. Instead of all that other, I don't know what that fucking stuff was. Bam. Bam. Done. The clothing. So the clothing line. Back to the clothing line. It's all based on the free code. So far, the lines, with which has matching sets of everything, they're freaking awesome with multicolored because you know that's just how the freak code goes. There's a line of discipline and resilience that goes together. There's a line of fire and energy that goes together. A line of protect and attack. There's a line of action and confidence. And then there is the freak line, which is just a fucking jumbled mess of freakness because i feel like put, i'm missing one because we, we we put the colors together as the freak goes so you have multicolors in there all the representation of the other colors so whatever you want you name it you're gonna find it there and then your whole entire family can wear the same clothes and that's the fun thing so you're gonna stand out and stand up that day go do your workout and have an awesome freaking day activate your freak mode download the free code into your brain into your dna into your fucking life if you have any questions we'll put the link down below yes. you can check out the clothing there's, there's tons of stuff available i'll be i'll show you a, a ton of the examples of all the different sets i have the whole set here i will take some pictures of them and get them out here on for you and you can get you can start representing and operating according to the freak code immediately we'll check check out the link yes. we'll put a bunch of pictures below. we're gonna we're gonna post post the, the the link for you it's very easy it's www.freecode.site and no, you can shout yes okay we're gonna post it yes and i see because we are on different social media uh, here so guys if you have any questions please send us a message we love to interact with you and in case no one told you yet today you are fucking awesome no excuses turn around and they can see your T-shirt.